Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I will be talking about the Atlantic 5 day, tropical weather outlook, and just a daily update on the tropics. So the Atlantic, there is nothing going on in the 5 days. In the Eastern Pacific, still nothing. It did have a possibility of around January, but nothing much. And then we have nothing in the Central Pacific. So, let's look at the 850 millibar, which is about 5,000 feet up. And let's just run through this and see if... Uh, and vorticity, which means the spin in the atmosphere at the specific height. Moving on through, we don't really have much. We may have like an elongated possible system around 186 plus hours on May 10th but n nothing much maybe another system around May 15th when the advisories first uh, come to start out it's actually pretty defined spin for a while out but this is only specific for the um, GFS the CMC doesn't even go out that far, but the CMC does show that the storm next to uh, North Carolina will be moving down and moving down to the Bahamas and a possible formation, but we'll just have to wait. It is an opposite Arthur is what it's looking like because author i think 2020 or 2019 the track went like that but this track's going like that it, it's a literally the opposite but here are the sea surface temperature anomalies that is the wrong button so we have average temperatures in the MDR region, I do not know why it does this. But so we have average temperatures in the MDR region, but above average temperatures in the um, Gulf of Mexico and actually along the um, actually along the eastern coast, we are saying seeing cooler temperatures than normal and you can see them here 28 24 to 28 in the gulf of mexico and then from really 22 21 25 where that previous storm according to the CM cmc will form and around 18 to 20 where the other one according to the jf uh, gfs has uh formed so we have a we have a um, system out here in the Midwest, which is called causing multiple tornadoes at the moment of recording this video. We got like these kind of popcorn storms. Mind you that the Eastern Pacific season starts May 15th. And then we also got like this elongated um, trough. And, and when I mean long, I mean like a long ways. That's probably about 500 miles, which is the size of some category fives. But so the El Nino, it got to the lowest it has ever gotten. Right now it's at negative 0.992. But it was at negative 1.1, which is the lowest from 99. And 99 was actually the um, season that got the most storms until 2005, I believe. And then El Nino, La Nina. Hopefully it works. So we got this. So we got this 
El Nino right around here. Um, but it is extremely cool, which is mainly just showing the 90, the negative 0 0.9 possibility. And then around the Philippines and around Taiwan, we're seeing above average to normal temperatures and around the uh, Central America, we're seeing around normal uh, temperatures. So here we have the Saharan air layer. We don't need, really need to worry about this right now, but it's still a factor if any storms do form, but we do see a somewhat light amount to mid amount of um, Saharan air layer air mass and dust. Here, this is the vorticity model uh, for different levels of the atmosphere. Blue is from 100 to 250 millibars and then climb up from there so you can see if a storm is very lop is very lopsided or not but we do not have any storm so we don't really need to worry about this at this specific moment. So we do have one storm, we have Invest Area 90W and uh, Pegasa or the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. It has brought out some general flood advisory, uh, severe and one moderate. Here are the areas for the severe. I do not want to mess up any of these areas and get them wrong. And there is the one for the moderate. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I create another video. Alright, bye-bye. Stay safe.